also getting pretty close to the start of high school football practices. Now 10 local East Texas teams will again have the chance to play a marquee game under the Saturday Night Lights this year. The KYKX 105.7 Saturday Night Game of the Week is back for its second year. Pinecrest Country Club in Longview hosting a media event for the games today. Of course, Harlan the Sports Guy and Pigskin Bob will handle the calls of the games again this year on KYKX. Harlan and the coaches involved say these games are great for teams and fans alike. Years ago, I thought it would be great if everybody who has to work on Friday night and goes to their game on Friday night could go on Saturday night and see another great game. Oh, it's good for East Texas. You've got a lot of good football teams and, and uh, good football is played and, and the fans can come to one spot and, and watch a lot of good teams play. We've got Gilmer and uh, you know, it's a district ball game for us, obviously. And so that's always going to be a big game. This just makes it even bigger. And it's good for our kids because it's, you know, it's a bigger stadium. Their kids get to play on the turf and, and, and they enjoy the uh, pageantry of it all. Uh, it gives your kids a feeling of the playoffs before the playoffs and uh, you get a chance to play on a neutral side against a great opponent and uh, I just can't see any negatives in, in it really. Lobo Stadium in Longview is again hosting the Saturday night games. The same five matches as last season to even things out, uh, meaning that one team lost a home game last year, the other loses one this year. Things get started September 7th when New Diana faces Tarleton later in the month. Hughes Springs taking on Orr City. Then three games in October, Arp versus West Rusk. Gilmer Henderson and Jefferson Harmony 